Hi! Welcome to part one of my GIMP for Dummies series. The series is going to be a detailed walkthrough of the basics for those who feel intimidated by all that GIMP can do. Don't feel bad if you're intimidated. It's a huge program that takes a while to kind of get used to, but once you get the basics down, it gets a little easier. So, the first step would be to download the program. Um, I will post a link for that down in the little information bar underneath this video. Um, if you haven't downloaded it yet, go do that. Pause this video, go download it. Alright, so now we're back. Um, first you need to open up the program. So for me, I've got it on the desktop. If you don't have yours on the desktop, you'll have to go over here and uh, probably just type in GIMP and it should show up with this little doodad right here. So, you click on it and it's going to load. So you should have three different windows up right now. This is the main window. This is where all of the images will show up. This is where the toolbar is. And you can probably guess what's going to be in here. It's a lot of the tools. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And this is the layers channel, path, undo everything as it says up there. Um, don't worry too much about this one. We're not going to go over it in this video. Uh, I'd recommend not closing out of it if you can help it, just because it's kind of hard to get back. So just leave it there. Don't worry about it. So I just full screened this window. And for this video, we're going to go over the very, very, very basics. The stuff that you're probably going to want to do at the very beginning. So first off, click on File. This is where you can open up a new image. You can either start up a blank picture by clicking on New and choosing the size. So, I don't know, you can do 1000 by 1000 and some pixels. If you click on this, you could do it in inches. You could say, you know, 13.889 inches, whatever. So, pixels. Click OK. And there it is. But for this example, I don't want to use this, so I'm going to exit out of it. If you ever want to get rid of something like this, it won't close you out of the program if you click here. Click here, all that does is get rid of the picture. Okay, so I'm going to open up a picture that I already have so we can work with that. So go to open, find what you want to open. Uh, I thought it was going to be here. Okay. Where is it? Um, there was one that I wanted to use. Where'd it go? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's do this one. Okay. So, I have my picture. The first thing that you'll probably want to know how to do is how to make the picture bigger or smaller. So, a lot of those tools, things like that, are going to be under image up here. So click on image and scale image. This is what you use to shrink it or expand it. So, right now, the numbers that are in here are how big it is at this moment. So this is 590 by 450 pixels. Say I want to make it smaller, like 200 pixels wide. Click on this box, and it'll automatically change that number to make it so that it doesn't get all weird and twisted up. So click on Scale, and there it is. Okay, if you want to undo something that you've done, go up to Edit undo scale image. If you look over here on the side, all of these things written on the side are shortcuts. So instead of clicking on undo scale image, I could also hit control Z on my computer and that will undo it. Alright, so I'm going to go back to image, scale image. Now, this little chain thing, that's what made it so that when I typed in a number here, it changed this number along with it. So what if I were to undo that, 
and then change this to like 500. This number stays the same, and then your picture is going to look like that. Which, I mean, I guess you might want sometimes, but probably never. So, that's how you do that. Now, um, what if you want to get rid of some of this white area and make it more centered in on these earrings? There are a couple ways you can do that. The first thing I'm going to show you is again under image. The scale image that we just used, but we're not going to do that. This one's going to be canvas size. So you can think of this image as the canvas. So go to image, canvas size. So right now this image is 590 by 450 pixels. Um, I've got the chain on, so these will change together to keep everything at the same ratio. So say I change it to 300. That'll change with it. You look down here, this is a preview. That little black box, that is what's going to be left when I click OK. So if I click resize, see how that's all that's left? This right here. So I'm going to undo that and do it again. So image, canvas size, change it, I don't know, to, okay, well we can make it bigger too. So what if we made it like a thousand? See that? So now the boundary of the canvas is this. Something kind of cool you can do if you so if you don't want to like eye it and be like, hmm, I want this in the middle, but that doesn't look like the middle. Hit center, and it'll do it for you. Or if you want it to be centered over here. Notice how when I move this around, these numbers right here change. Those are the positions. So if it's in the top left corner, this right here is the origin. It's zero zero. So down here is 313. So if I'm thinking like I want it to be 50 in and 100 down, it'll do it. Um, or you can just do it manually. So anyway, I'm going to center it and hit OK. And now you have the scary mess that you don't know what to do with. Uh, what's going on is we've got some weird layer thing happening. So I lied, we're actually going to use this. Go over to this channel right here and right click. Go down here and see flatten image. This is how you make it one flat layer. So that's all you have to do. So let's go through that again to make sure you've got it. So go to image, canvas size. If you're changing it to something bigger, this is when this is going to be an issue. Unlink it if I want to make it a square, 1000 to 1000. Center my picture, hit resize. Got this scary, scary mess going on. Right click on this layer in the layer window. Right click. Ignore all this stuff. Go down, flatten image. Bam. Now you have a bigger one. Okay. I'm going to undo everything I've done just now. Though. So what if you're thinking that you don't like where the earrings are in this picture? You can do something other than canvas size to mess with that. You can go over here in your toolbox. So look in the toolbox. All the way in the top left corner, there's the rectangle select tool. Select a rectangular region. So click on that. Now if you click and drag, it'll make a box, release the box, and you've got this thing. And you've got your mouse in there. You can see things like this. You can move it around. You can shrink it. You can make it bigger. Whatever. Unlike most paint programs, making this box does not automatically make it so that you can move whatever's inside of it. That's a little, it's a little bit different than that. So, put the box around it, however you want it to be there. Say, I want to get rid of all of this stuff that's outside of the box. This is when we're going to go back to image. Remember we used scale image and canvas size here. This time we're going to use crop to selection. So, if you hit crop to selection, everything outside of that box disappears. 
pussies. The box is still there. Go to image, crop to selection, it's gone. If you look down here, I'm going to undo this. Everything that shows up in this box, when you click on different tools, that has to do with that specific tool. So I'm on the rectangle select tool again. If you go down here, if you have a certain size that you want that box to be, you can type it in here. So let's say I make this box, right? This is the box. That box is 332 pixels by 193. Let's say I want it to be 400 by 400. Oops. Okay, sorry. You need to have it clicked like that. Now I'll do it. 400 by 400. There it is. Now you can move this around so that way when you go and crop this, you know it's a perfect square. Crop selection. You can also, oops, specify exactly where you want that box to be by looking here. So the, these position markers are kind of like what we looked at earlier. So what if I'm like trying to get it perfectly in this corner? It looks like it's perfectly over there, but it's actually not. This is actually outside of the boundaries, as you can see by the negative numbers. So on here, if I put 0, 0, it automatically goes there. Or if I do 20, 50, it automatically goes there. So that's what you can use those position markers for. Alright, let's see how long this video is so far. Oh, that's long. Okay, so let's just do a refresher, just so you can remember everything that we did. I'm going to X out of this. Don't save. So, go to File, Open, open whatever picture you want. If you want to make it smaller, image, scale image, choose the size that you want, leave the chain link there, scale. Now if you want to, I'm gonna, if you want to undo that, go to edit, undo scale image. If you want to change the canvas size to make more white space or less white space, go to image, canvas size, change that to whatever you want. You can unlink it to make it a square. You can hit center to let it do it for you, or you can do it yourself, or you can type it in. Whatever. Resize. size. Um, oh, I'm kind of zoomed in, so I want to zoom out. Here's the magnifying glass right here. Click on that. Zoom out. Click on the screen. And you zoomed out. So, magnifying glass. You can also, well, yeah, you can also control, hit control on your computer, and use the scrolly button on your mouse. That'll do it for you, too. So, now you have all of this. Go over to the layer window, right click, go down to flatten, and it's flattened. What if you want to cut stuff out of it? Use the rectangle select tool, drag, make your square, resize it however you want it to be sized, or you can tell it to do it here. Oops, that's position. Size. Size. You now it's a square. Go to image. This is where scale and canvas size are. It's also where crop to selection is. Hit crop. And there you are, you've got your square. And I think that's everything. So now you want to save. This is how you save. Just like everything else. File. Save as. Choose your name. Make sure it says .jpg or .png or whatever file type you want. If it's .xcf, that's a GIMP file. You won't be able to upload that on websites. Hit save and you'll get this window. The quality is just the quality of the picture after you save it. So um, the higher quality that you have, the bigger the file is going to be. Um, I've read before that anything over or over 92 cannot be seen by the human eye. 
I don't know. I just do 95 to be safe, whatever. You can do 100 if you want. Click save. And you have your picture. That's it. To exit out of the program, you can either exit out of this. If you hit X on this, that'll close the program. If you hit X on this, that'll also close the program. But just to keep yourself from being confused and accidentally closing an important window like this one, just hit X here. And you're done. Alright, thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next video. I hope this helps. Bye!